This is ridiculous. Is it so bad to enjoy singing and dancing in plays? Silence, child. No, let her speak. Her age has nothing to do with the truth of her words. However, those who would show contempt for others and think only of themselves would be brought to justice. Grr. God wouldn't want us to talk of people like they're awful criminals just because they're performers. King David himself loved to dance. He even played his harp to banish the evil spirit plaguing Saul. And all of you like to drink hard cider and cause such commotion to celebrate the autumn harvest. I even know about how you played shuffleboard. You're wrong. Of course we're going to be happy when God has seen fit to reward our hard work. But letting entertainment and temptation into our lives also makes us vulnerable to the devil's whispers. Lucifer's beauty was great enough to charm even God himself. We cannot put too much trust in ourselves. We are frail vessels, so we must always be humble and cautious. We have nothing to our names, yet we still count our blessings as we go about our lives. We are not kings. We're not even shepherds. We're nothing more than lambs. That's it? That's all we are? If there's nothing we can trust here in Salem, then where could there be? Okay, again, this Matahari back, back, uh, this Matahari, like, backstory bullshit is getting really old. I'm kind of tired of seeing it, if I'm going to be real. Therefore, in compliance with Fred Charmy Law, I hereby accuse spy AF45, a.k.a. h one a.k.a. Matahari of Holland. She is charged with leaking top-secret information to Germany and its allies and concealing said information. This included mission-critical information, such as strategy for the Hindenburg Line, the leakage of which resulted in many casualties for our army. In fact, we have received reports that our losses number no fewer than 50,000 soldiers. Most recently, she has also leaked information pertaining to our transport ship routes, which were subsequently sunken by enemy U-boats. From her confiscated personal belongings, we have ascertained that the defendant has accepted large sums of money from Germany, so there can be no doubt of her guilt. The decision is unanimous. Conspiring against the government and interfering with military operations via espionage are grievous crimes punishable by death. Ironically, I think there was a rumor that said Germany is actually the one who leaked that Matahari was a spy. So I guess if that's true, I guess they got what they wanted from her and were done using her. I therefore sentence the defendant Matahari to be executed by firing squad. Court's now adjourned. Your Honor, please let me say just one thing to everyone here. You may speak, but your sentence may not be appealed. Yes, I was a spy. Some soldiers may well have lost their lives because of me. But I swear to you here and now that my loyalty was always to France. Eep. I see. So you claim that your, lo that your love of country is a match for the soldiers who gave their lives for France. Very well then. Madahari, you will face judgment for your crimes once more in death. Look their souls in the eye and proclaim your innocence. Listen to their voices ruined by the bullets that tore through their throats and hear them yourself. Is this supposed to be an analogy for her being on trial right now? I, I seriously don't understand what's going on. I mean, aside from these asi asides with like the Salem bit, it's like, why couldn't this just be a story node? This does not feel like it deserves all these arrows. This is literal padding if ever I've seen any. At least these soldiers aren't too strong. I can cut them down without too much hassle. Stand ready. There we go, perfect. 
どうかな And now next will be just a bunch of Lancers that I can take out with Suzuka. I actually might save her Noble Phantasm like, for uh, the, next, the next round. It won't do all that much to it, but it's still another hit that I can use to overcharge uh, Sanzos. I wish these were ghouls. That way I could be getting stakes from them. At least maybe I'm getting bones from this. I think I need those for someone. I don't remember who, though, off the top of my head. All right, party time. Uh, what does this do again? Okay. I'll use Suska's first because I want that overcharge for Garden of Avalon. There we go. Mm, I did okay. Okay, it was like 20. Okay, it wasn't that great of damage, but whatever. There we go, that was probably some good damage. 170, yeah, that was pretty good. out for Nidacris. That way I can always have three casters going. And if I'm lucky, I can insta-kill it. Ain't exactly holding my breath on that one. Ah, uh, no, nah, didn't think I would. I, I had high hopes, but no. At least I did damage to it. That's all that matters. Trial! Jokes on you, invincibility, suck dick. I'm real tired of you using trial. Hmm. 
<laughs> Sounds like this, I wish I had a second Santo to overcharge. Of course, now is the time I finally get to use the Noble Phantasm when I probably don't even fucking need to. <laughs> to hell with you. What arrow are we on? Oh, yeah, yay, got a lantern, a couple bones. Yes, finally. Okay. More casters come to threaten me. Then they will be met with death. Actually. <laughs> I got a lot of chance to show her off, so fuck it. Why not? It is time to play. And Sanzo staying. So come. Le let us taste death. And I figure out where the hell I am again. There we go. Alright. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. Thought that said something different. Matahari. Margaretha Gertrude Zell McLeod. Whatever. You have committed adultery through devilish means and robbed the people of Salem of their senses. You have betrayed God and indulged in the evil of witchcraft. In the name of God and the good people of Salem, I hereby sentence you to be hanged as a witch. Huh? Ah. Sigh. I see. So that's how it is. I suppose when weighed against the 50,000 people that live in Salem, my own life is a small price to pay to save them, huh? Do you have a problem with my sentence? No. I further order her employer, Vaini Zanagi, to pay damages and trial fees, totaling 40 pounds. As well as an additional 30 pounds for the cost of the hanging. How about go fuck yourself? What? That's absurd. I've never heard of such preposterously high court fees before. Showing your true colors, Witchfinder General. Order! Order! How dare you show, show contempt for this holy court. Unlike the venues to which you are accustomed, this is not some cheap tavern. <laughs> Out of my way, old fool. <laughs> Get back! Nobody approaches the condemned! She's saying something? It's no use, I can't tell what she's saying. The Hill. Gallows. Condemned. Old Gillis. Condemned. Miss Pickman. Oh, I'm glad to see that those courts went real quick. Condemned. Madahari. You again. 
Your Honor, I would like to speak with you. Sanson, eh? Are you here to ask me to overturn this sentence like those other foolish villagers? Or are you here to call me a king again? I am but a humble servant of God and the law. No, Your Honor. I am well aware of the weight that a sentence carries. However, this is all moving far too quickly. I would like to ask for a stay of execution. Is that so? Very well. The executions are not set to take place for a few hours. State your case. As you know, Your Honor, a large number of people are dissatisfied with this sentence. Salem is also currently beset by attacking monsters which are stoking fear and grief in its people. It is eminently possible that these feelings may incite anger and confusion, confusion, which would make it much more difficult to keep the peace. So are you telling me to be weary of riots? And this could be dangerous for you personally, Your Honor. My own life is of little consequence. Very well. Fucking cuts him down with that big-ass sword he's carrying. What's more, I am told that Carter set out to Boston to bring back a new judge. In which case, regardless of what becomes of me, the great work of these trials will continue. These holy trials have begun, and neither the devil nor a saint can stop them. You're lying. Huh. There's no way we're talking that old man out of this. What if we tied Hopkins up, made him mysteriously vanish, right? Right? Seriously? Fortunately, Abigail, still at home, that is good. She will not have to see any act of violence. Yeah, I don't see reckless violence helping here. It would probably end up with more vic innocent victims. Can't you feel it? There's a will at work behind all this. Huh? Is it related? Whoop, that's not what I meant. You said it. And as luck would have it, there's a storm brewing right now. Who's to say it couldn't cause the gallows to have an unfortunate accident? Yeah, <laughs> Terrible idea. Huh? Here's what we're going to do. We're gonna let Matahari be executed. I'm sorry, what? What are you playing at here? I don't have time to explain, Dandy Man. Gee, thanks. Damn it. Damn it. This freaking sucks. Why is Matahari- that God damn it, my fingers are way lower than I expect. I can't imagine a real Holy Grail where, where, uh, war ever taking place here, but under normal circumstances, your contract with them would be lost, and as per the example set by normal summon to your experience, their soul would disappear without returning to the throne. So all you'd have to do is make another contract with them. We're still just servants after all. And as far as mages are concerned, we're basically just familiars. Glorified, consumable items. Easy there. I really do love your expression. But then... What would become of Matahari's memories? What would become of her solitude? Of the suffering her soul endured? The Reverend's reciting a prayer for the condemned. Madhari's up next. She's ignoring what he has to say, but... Wait, what's she... Her lips are moving again. What do you want to do, Master? Robin, read her lips. You want me to lip-read? Okay, got it. What language is that? Is it even English? I'm just gonna copy her sounds. It's... Okay. Trust... Trust... Ercy. <laughs> trust Cersei. The noose is around her neck now. Damn it, she's smiling.
Your Honor, it's time. Hang them. I still don't know how to pronounce that name. Her, Matahari. Yep. In the end, we let her die. How could you let this happen, Master? So, what did Cersei do? <laughs> Don't blame him. Huh? It... it moved. Something happened back at the workshop. What's... The workshop? The Carter House? What happened? Something's on fire in the village. Can't be a coincidence. With this storm about, they'd make sure a fire would never break out by accident. Good. Someone set fire to the house. Arson? I... Even I'm not all-powerful. Workshop's defenses were made for monsters. They can't do anything against regular villagers. Oh, man. And after all the work I put into making it. Divine retribution. This quickly? What about Abigail? George! George! What is it, more corpse-eating monsters? What do you think all these rifles are for? Drive them off! But this time there are angry villagers among them as well! Monsters attacked someone just as he was breaking into the Reverend's house, allowing them to escape! My lord, this is blasphemous! We've got to do something! I'll go tell Judge Hopkins! Out of my way, youngster. Your honor, it's not safe here. More of the monsters are on their way. You mean the ghouls? This is the Puritan paradise I spent 66... What? 66 days on a boat to reach, on a voyage in the deathly cold of winter, no less. I would expect such disruption in a famine or a revolt, not a Puritan haven. What a disappointment. Your Honor, you need to get out of here. Hurry before they find you. Without the armed reinforcements I've sent numerous telegrams for, there's nothing we can do to hold them off. Hang on a second. Okay, now I'm back. So as I was saying, absolutely not. My execution of these heretics is not yet complete. We must wait and be certain that these wretched condemned are indeed dead, or the people won't rest secure in the knowledge that justice was served. Are you mad? No one is even here to watch any longer. Say what you will. I will not leave until I am satisfied these criminals are dead. Ugh. Your Honor. I sense an evil aura expanding, exploding. There is more than ghouls here. What is Sanson doing? Oh well, this actually works out well. Now we don't have to distract them ourselves. Robin, go get Matahari's body. We're taking her with us. Her, huh? Her body? What are you giving me orders anyway? Robin, do it. Master, I'll get Abigail. Got it. You are welcome. If I see others in danger, I shall save them too.